currently 371 million people are affected by diabetes worldwide. There are 20 million people with type 1 diabetes. My husband, who has type 1 diabetes, if he doesn't have insulin, he'll die. For the last 31 years, I've had an insulin injection or multiple injections every single day. I've never had the question whether I'm going to have access tomorrow to that drug. And because of that, I've lived a great life with this disease. In countries like Rwanda, getting diagnosed with diabetes is just a short lease on life. As former advisor in Ministry of Health in Macedonia and leader and creator of National Program for Diabetes, I realized that people with diabetes are not equal. The World Health Organization Global Fund are covering for decades malaria, HIV and tuberculosis, but not diabetes. In the beginning, Macedonia was covering people with diabetes through public insurance fund, and it was not enough. So we allocated money from our HIV program because we almost eradicated this disease. In a two-month period, Biliana changed the lives of 38,000 people with diabetes, 2,500 of which have type 1. And she created what we call the Macedonian model for diabetes care. And the Macedonian model is going to apply to Rwanda because it's teaching the Rwandan government how to access the funds that are going to allow them to care for their patients. There was a global fund for HIV uh, with diabetes. There's no way that uh, you will manage to treat all the kids that are in need in the world if there is no a decrease of price. So what are your thoughts on... Uh, so the thought is that go internationally to decrease the price like we did for HIV. Mm. There's not a place in the world that you go that if you have HIV, you don't immediately get access to medication needed to suppress the disease and live the best life possible. We're not looking to do something for the first time. We're just looking to do it for the first time with diabetes. We are together. We are Absolutely. Together. We know they don't have money. Thank you. So we will ask her where she needs help from. Who should we talk with? And we will try to negotiate with this big organization to give the, the budget to these, these countries. Without finances, there is nothing.